Hi everybody, welcome to Brickvolt, my name is Mike and in this review we have the set called the Piranha Attack. This LEGO Ninjago movie set is numbered 70629, it is recommended for ages 7 to 14 and it contains 217 pieces. Included we have a really fun build for what seems to be a Piranha Mac, along with 4 minifigures with a very good Misako version, and a very decent build for a rickshaw. But the box won't tell as much as the actual build, let's open this guy up. Only two bags are inside, well that's a small set so I wouldn't expect more. There is a nicely uh, specialty? Kind of a different format manual, kind of a tiny itsy book, I like this one. And a set of stickers, so without further ado, let's build this guy up. So the weird part while building this is that Misako's face seems to be greenish in tone. Well, the manual shows yellow and I think the pictures on the box show yellow. But she looks kind of a green on, on the face. Is that a defect or is that supposed to be like that? Well, we'll see in the review. I'm gonna take a closer shot of that. Otherwise, it's a very good minifigure, but the face is just... I don't know. The Piranha attack is finished, I think with this one the LEGO is hitting it again with a very good $20 Ninjago movie set. We got a selection of 4 minifigures, a great mech, a rickshaw and easily this set can compete in quality with the very good LEGO Ninjago movie CD chase. For this review let's start off with the minifigures. And I really want to start off with Misako, she is the most unique and the thing here is uh, a bit weird because you can see her face is a bit in greenish tone whereas the box art and the graphics show her in normal yellow tone. So I'm not sure what's wrong here if that's supposed to be like that, I have not seen the movie so I'm not sure how she exactly looks like in the movie but this greenish tone on the face kind of throws me off a bit. I think it should be the classic yellow but maybe that's a defect or maybe that is what it's supposed to be. But apart from that everything else is pretty much excellent. She has one single face expression and uh, right above it there is the helmet or the hair mold whatever you call it. It's one of the most intricate ones I've seen in LEGO so far. Very good armor depiction. Then we have her quiver with some extra sigil uh, mold on the side that's a really unique quiver. The bow is a classic one plus we have very good print for the torso showing her armor and a piece of clothing that goes around her waist. What an awesome minifig for the accessories, a lot of detailing here. I love the whole body in his dark silver color. And boy, I think that must be, might be actually one of the best minifigures in the LEGO Ninjago movie line so far. Even surpassing the collectible ones. Really, really like this one. The second protagonist is Kai and well, he's not exclusive. We didn't have many versions of Kai actually, nor for any other ninja in the LEGO Ninjago movie line. All of them are pretty much similar and this one is not a difference. Well, we have a face expression actually too, with a very good uh, showing of his uh, patch on the forehead and also the hair looks uh, very wavy, very good. I think I had this hair being my favorite from the guys uh, from the ninjas team. Plus he has a scabbard with two katanas as usual and his classic red Kai printing. Here is a guy named Ray, the only civilian in this set and he comes with an exclusive civilian print for a LEGO Ninjago movie. That's a nice robe with some clips holding it together very nice print, plus he has uh, his feet printed, so that's very unusual and nice to see in a, such a small set. One single face expression, a very scared one and good looking, and his head that we've seen in other Ninjago movie sets. Well, nice to have an exclusive minifigure in a $20 set and just expanding the civilians from this movie. The last guy here is pretty standard, there is the Shark Army thug in his sleeveless uh, vest form. So the print is the same, with, I think we've seen this guy in one previous set from LEGO Ninjago movie, not sure which one. But, well, he was seen before, same goes for the face and his cap that make him look pretty much like a LEGO City Police uh, thug that we've seen a lot of the times. Anyway, he doesn't need a weapon because he is the mech driver. Let's move on to the main part, first the rickshaw and wow, that is a really nice build actually. I like how they made the whole connection with the rickshaw feel to it. Of course, we have big wheels that work like um, fidget spinners. Oh no, no, please not. <laughs> anyway, they do spin very well 
uh, they really do we have a lot of stickers here and this thing is on a simple joint you can see the shape is there and uh, this thing can also mo fold like that to keep some leg room and perhaps like a standpoint for the rickshaw itself well small build you have those lampions here at the top that can you know swivel like that to just <laughs> create the proper angle when you're driving this thing and overall i i just liked how simple it is and how well it looks as you see the rickshaw is not perfectly scaled to the minifigure the big wheels make it look like it's a bit leaning forward towards the minifigure ray may be having a hard time uh, holding it but well he's a pretty decent driver i guess so he should be fine the space for the client in the back is pretty decent but it's a bit above uh, than the uh, owner of the rickshaw usually uh, well overall it still looks good but i don't think it depicts the reality in a very accurate way but let's check out the main thing the piranha mech boy this thing looks awesome i fell in love with the <laughs> ridiculousness of this build you can see the piranha Mm, the, the look of the piranha fish uh, gets pretty close we can see those eyes on the sides the crazy teeth that those uh, you know fish have in the front they do uh, look ridiculous as well now uh, it looks technical uh, you can see the engines in the back some fins some good uh, use of stickers there there is a periscope um, and the feet look <laughs> like he's wearing i don't know um, flip flops <laughs> or something like that like slippers Oh, no, no, it looks so funny. Uh, I love the guy. And uh, yeah, let's check out inside. The thing opens just like that. You can see the cockpit. Oh, I just dropped the missile here. You can just fill them in there. But you can see the cockpit is very simple. We have a small uh, cheese slope for the cockpit uh, console. It looks pretty good. It's a print, so that's a nice piece to have. Also two levers and a lot of space. The guy doesn't see anything when you get him inside. So I think this thing here is a visor. So you slick, look through that, you target your missiles, you target your weaponry and just close yourself off and just... Oh my god, this is so fun! The thing that I'm missing here, however, is some sort of a weaponry that would actually work. Well, the flick missiles are, you know, well, hard to access, actually. They, they, they don't work that well, never. You would have to, like, really kick it with your, like, kick of your fingers whatever to move this this thing around so it doesn't really fire uh, but i know it's small thing so they couldn't fit any spring loaders here or anything like that even structures would work better than this but the cool thing here is that they can actually position under the mac under the walker or just on the sides which you can change the look by that way so i like this aspect of it there is some sort of a jetpack in the back uh, you guys seen the movie so probably it moves that way as well you can position those nozzles just a bit there is not much of a motion here but hey it looks pretty good plus it uh, goes well with this fin in the bag with the shark army emblem as a sticker would i recommend this set for 20 dollars absolutely yes you get an awesome mag that can just stand on your desk be your pet whatever you like uh, well it just looks great the piranha look is saved and uh, so accurate i just i just like it plus we get a decent amount of minifigs four for 20 dollars that's pretty good with the inclusion of Misako in a very good form. I'm gonna double check out that greenish face thing that we have, but still the minifigure is high quality, one of the best ones that we had so far in the LEGO Ninja Go movie line. So that's a very well worth thing to have, plus of course the Mac, plus the rickshaw. Anything about this set, I really, really like. All right, and that's it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. The Mac looks ridiculous, it's so funny. Uh, just this guy is very well worth getting this set for 20 bucks you cannot get wrong with that i really like this one i hope you did too if you did leave a like and subscribe below i would really appreciate it anyway that's it for the review thank you so much for watching my name is mike and i'll see you again on brickpot